Hello, pen and ink fans. This is Tom with inkjournal.com. I'm here today to talk about how to convert a cartridge converter filling fountain pen into an eyedropper fill fountain pen. The reason why you would want to do this is because certain fountain pens may lack a converter or their converter that they have is does not provide an ample supply of ink. So sometimes you just want to ditch the entire convert cartridge converter system and fill up the entire barrel full of fountain pen ink. Such is the cases with this platinum preppy pen that we're writing with here. Uh, it does come with it does come with a cartridge to start off with, but we are going to ditch the cartridge and fill up the entire barrel with fountain pen ink. So that's what we're going to show you here today, and we're going to get started with gathering our items together. First we have the Platinum Preppy Fountain Pen. Then we have a simple O-ring. There's the dimensions there. And then we have a transfer pipette to transfer the ink. Next we have a little sample of 100% pure silicone grease. And of course we have the ink. Now we're going to get rid of everything out here, and we're just going to focus in on the pen first. To prime the preppy, we're going to remove the cap, take off the front section, and then remove the ink cartridge that's inside there. Next, we are going to roll the O-ring over the section threads, and you want to anchor it on one side with one finger and maybe pull it uh, over the lip of the section and then roll it on down the threads to the front to the very very end of it where the section meets the the grip part there to get it to meet flush with the very end you could lightly screw on the barrel back again. Next we have the 100% pure silicone grease and this is to help create that watertight seal. So we're going to take a toothpick and grab just a very very small amount of that grease in this vial here. Gently apply the silicone grease to the section threads. You want to coat it very evenly just so that it leaves like a, a, a moist coating over all the threads there. Now it's time to grab some fountain pen ink and throw it into the barrel of the fountain pen. Now I have here is a sample vial, but you could do this with any bottle of ink that you have and grab the, the transfer pipette, extract the ink from the vial or bottle. Now you could also use a regular eyedropper too if you have that available. Now you're going to drop it into the barrel, just careful, careful to do it because uh, you don't want to have a big, big, big mess on your hands. Now that we've filled up our barrel, we're going to put the front section back on very gently, but forcefully enough that we're going to make a, a tight seal. And you want to make sure that that O-ring is nice and flush all the way through. But you don't want to over tighten it because then of course this is only plastic we're talking about here so it's going to uh, crack if you tighten it too much. We're going to gently tip it back and forth not only just to see that nice little bubble of air moving back and forth but it also helps stimulate the ink flow. Now we're going to test it out and Eureka! It writes. So now we're going to just see how the rubber meets the road here. And there's a certain level of satisfaction that you get from tinkering around with your own fountain pens. And this is one of the simple things you can do uh, to a number of fountain pens. Any fountain pen that would have 
a plastic body and a plastic section. You definitely want to avoid doing this with any fountain pen that would have a metal section or a metal barrel uh, because the ink would eventually corrode the metal. The ink we used in this video is Mueller's Dostoyevsky, which was featured in our first ink flight box that was done in February of 2017. And this is a really cool light blue fountain pen ink that's got a good amount of shading to it. It's bulletproof and also has fluorescence under black light, which is really cool as well. And it looks nice coming out of this platinum preppy fountain pen, don't you think? And now that we're finished up with our eyedropper conversion, I hope that you enjoyed this video and that you were able to pick up some tips on how to be able to do this yourself. If you have any questions or would like to check out our future ink flight boxes, head on over to inkjournal.com and come fly with us next month for our next ink flight box. Goodbye! <laughs>